Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics 5th Edition S. Timoshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao and Sukumar Pati. In this tutorial, we will solve problem set 2.2, problem number 2.21. Determine graphically the magnitude and direction of resultant of the four concurrent forces if each of the 445 Newton's force is reversed in direction. Now, the reversed directions of the 445 Newtons is already indicated in the diagram. The one force is 445 Newtons is acting in this direction. 819 Newtons is acting in the downward direction. 1335 is acting in this direction. And 445 Newtons force is acting in this direction. Our interest is to find the resultant of these four forces in graphical technique. So to draw the graphical technique, first I will take some scale. That scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 200 Newtons. For each 200 Newtons, I will represent with 1 centimeter. And I will just draw all these forces like this. First, any order you can consider. First I can take 445, next I can take 890, next any order I can take. So, I will follow this order. First, I will take 819 Newton's force. That 8 that length of this Newton's is calculated as 890 by 200 centimeters. That length is equal to this much. So, first I will draw that line by taking one point as the reference. Next force, I will take this 445 Newton's. The length of this 445 Newton's here becomes 445 by 200. I will just draw this line from the head of the previous force. That means I will draw that line like this. From the head of the previous line, I will start drawing the line of 445 Newtons. Next, I will take this 445 Newtons horizontal. The length becomes 445 by 200 and I will draw this line from the head of this force like this. Next I will take 1335 Newton's force. The length of this 1335 Newton's becomes 1335 divided by 200. That force I will draw from the head of the last drawn. So I have drawn all these four forces by the concept of the graphical technique. Now, the line joining of the first point and the last, or you can say, the tail of the first point and the head of the last point is becomes the resultant force. Please concentrate. The resultant force is like this. That is my resultant force. And what is the magnitude of that resultant force? For that, I need to measure this length. This length is... After measuring, I will get that length as 11.31 centimeters. That I can convert into force by using the same scale. Hence, the resultant force R is equal to 11.31 into 200, which gives R is equal to 2262 newtons. And what about the direction? just by dry horizontal line and measure that angle. So, this angle is the angle made by the resultant force with the x-axis. And that by measuring this, by using protractor, I will get theta is equal to 63 degrees. Hence, the final answers are R is equal to 2262 newtons and theta is equal to 63 degrees.